$550 million was reportedly stolen from Net1, Zimbabwe's second largest mobile network operator by its employees. I have so many questions. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master, the SimTech guy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you like the work that I do on this channel, please consider partnering with me on Patreon, like these rockstar Patreons. Link in the description. So, Zimbabwe's second largest mobile network operator, Net1, was swindled out of 550 million Zimbabwean dollars. Now, this took place between uh, the beginning of December up to the 25th of January 2023. So, according to reports, the scam involved three Net1 employees and two bulk airtime agents. So, to put it into perspective, 550 million Zimbabwean dollars in US dollar at the official rate is over $700,000. Now, for an organization as big as Net1, how can you go for one and a half months without realizing that you lost $700,000 worth of airtime? Now, so the scam involved them selling bulk airtime to these resellers who would in turn sell it to the public at very discounted prices. $700,000 is a lot of money. Now, if anything, this points to the weakness of the systems at Net1. And uh, if it was another place, I know a lot of heads would be rolling right now. And here's the kicker. It is not Net1 who discovered this scam. It is actually a whistleblower, which means somebody snitched. They might not have gotten a cut from the deal and they decided to snitch to the CID, who went on to investigate. And they only snitched on the 25th of January. I want you to think about it. It is not Net1's internal processes that are net this scam. It was just a disgruntled employee or somebody who, you know, who decided to just let the cat out of the bag. If that hadn't taken place, these guys would still be swindling Net1 and they wouldn't know anything about it. Which leads us to another point. If Net1 can lose 700,000 United States dollars and continue operating, which means I think we might be paying too much for airtime in this country. That means they're covered. Imagine 700000 a $700,000 impact did not deter their operations. They kept on paying their workers and everything was running smoothly. Which, which means, in my opinion, we are just basically overpaying for airtime. If you get what I mean, right? Now, that's a subject for another day. So you might be asking yourself, what did these guys do with the $700,000? Uh, CID recovered a 100 feet vehicle and there was another vehicle which is currently being imported from Japan. You know how Zimbabweans love cars, right? And one of the parties involved had bought a residential stand, right? That's what they did with the money uh, and I'm sure maybe in December they actually had a very good Christmas. Now the issue is still in the courts and we're waiting for further developments but I don't know, something, something is not adding up. How can you lose $700,000 and not realize it? it? Maybe it also points to the excesses within these mobile network operators. I'm of the view that these people, they just do things in excess. They just need more money for airtime. They keep on begging portras to increase tariffs. Yet, they can lose $700,000 and nothing happens, right? Something's fishy. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this matter? If you have a comment, leave it down below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.